Question 10 from the 2024 multiple choice paper in the higher physics exam from the SQA. Which of the following particles is a fermion? And we're given a choice of a W boson, Z boson, photon, gluon and muon. And you just got to look at the chart and know the chart off by heart and know that everything is made up of fermions except the force carriers. That's that cloud here. These are separate from the fermions. Now, a muon is one of the leptons, which you'll find down here. And the muon is a lepton, which is a fermion. So the answer we're looking for here is 10E, the muon. Once again, if we have a boson, a force-carrying character, it's not a member of the fermion family. So we can get down that list. We can cross them off. Any boson, cross it off. W boson. Z boson, photon, that is the boson, the force carrier for the electromagnetic force. Gluon is the force, ca force carrier for the strong nuclear force. And we're left with the muon. And we know that the muon here is this particle down here is related to the leptons, which are also a subfamily of the fermions. So which of the following particles is a fermion? The answer is E. It's got to be a muon. Question 11 from the 2024 multiple choice part of the SQA Higher Physics. The following statement represents beta decay and it goes on to say beta decay provided the first evidence for the existence of and the answer to that is the neutrino B. How's that? A little bit of revision. And there's a man who found the neutrino which stands for the little one. Enrico Fermi studied the radioactive decay of carbon-14 atom it decayed by emitting an electron from the nucleus of the carbon-14 atom. That's beta decay. Now this posed a problem because it looked like the law of conservation of momentum was being broken. Enrico saved the day by indicating that another very, very small particle was being emitted along with the electron. And this particle was called the anti-neutrino, which meant that there must be a neutrino as well. So beta decay provided evidence for the existence of a neutrino. And they had to do that because when they did up the, the momentum calculations, it didn't come right. It was some sort of missing little mass there, which they couldn't account for. And it was the neutrino. So beta decay provided evidence for the existence of the neutrino. Answer B. Question 12 from the multiple choice. Uranium-239 undergoes decay by emitting a beta particle. The nucleus formed as a result of this decay also undergoes decay by emitting a beta particle to form nucleus X. We now have to define, or define that nucleus X. Start off with uranium. Mark it down. Uranium is going to be 239. That's its mass number. And it's going to have an atomic number of 92. Now, if that undergoes beta emission... You're going to have beta here, 0, minus 1. And to balance this up, you must have some sort of nuclear uh, nucleus, which is going to have a mass number which is unchanged. But you emit a beta particle, the mass number unchanges, but the atomic number increases by 1. So we've got a new element, a new nucleus, 239x93. We don't know what that is, but the next stage is that same element is going to do the same thing, emit a beta particle. So we've got 239. 93 and it's going to emit a beta particle beta minus one zero and once again when a nucleus emits a beta particle the mass number remains unchanged so it's going to be 239 but the atomic number increases by one we're going to have 94 and we're asked to identify what this particular nucleus is we check its atomic number 94 and to do that we have to look up the paper and see the atomic number which gives 94 so we can see 94 is here and it is plutonium pu atomic number 94 so we're really dealing with the plutonium nucleus here pu so what answer does that give us down the list pu 23994 23994 pu is the one we're looking for 12 answer is e